so today's the day that the Joe Rogan sit down with JD Vance has been released. Uh, it's been out for about two hours now. I'm I'm only an hour into the into the podcast episode. Um, I think it's been very interesting. They spent a lot of time on the uh, trans issues. Um, spent a little bit of time on JD and 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 what was what was his reaction to be picked as Trump's running mate for this upcoming election. Uh, I'm up to the point now where they're talking about um, pharmaceutical industry. So a lot of topics covered in the first hour. And, and, and for those of you that say that J.D. Vance is weird, um, watch this podcast. This, this episode is about three hours and 17 minutes long. And like I said, I'm an hour through it. And this is just a conversation between two guys. And JD is so good, so good uh, at just being able to sit there and have a conversation and talk and answer Joe's questions. So what I want to talk about right now, though, is the fact that uh, Joe Rogan came out And this is out of the New York Post today. Joe Rogan says he gave Harris campaign an open invitation to sit down anytime. I'll do it at midnight if she's up. So according to this story here by Emily Crane, Joe Rogan says he gave Vice President Kamala Harris an open opportunity to sit down with him anytime in his Texas podcast studio, insisting I'll do it at midnight if she's up. The podcaster said on Wednesday, or actually the podcaster on Wednesday defended his decision to reject the Harris interview based on the ground rules that the Democratic presidential candidate tried to impose, including limiting the time to an hour and potentially having her handlers in the room, much like they did with the interview on Fox with Brett Baer. Not only that, she wanted Rogan to pack everything up and travel to her because she's just such a busy person. Whereas you got J.D. Vance who sat down in the middle of a campaign for three hours and 17 minutes. Actually, it was four hours. I know they had to edit it down some. But yet, she wants to make the number one podcaster on the planet come to her. But yet, she had time to go do Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. She had an opportunity to come, Rogan said with the, when the saga came up during his latest episode of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. You can look at this and you can say, oh, you're being a diva. But she had an opportunity to come when she was here in Texas, and I literally gave them an open invitation. I said, anytime, if she's done at 10, we'll come back here at 10. I go, I'll do it at 9 in the morning. I'll do it at 10 p.m. I'll do it at midnight if she's up, if she wants to, you know? Drink a Red Bull, he added. Rogan's decision to snub Harris's interview proposal, which included him traveling to her and for her and for the chat to only last an hour, came after President Donald Trump's three-hour appearance on the Joe Rogan experience that exploded online last week. Yeah. Looky here, folks. 41 million views, almost 42 million views, 2 million thumbs up, 43,000 thumbs down. Actually, 42,000 thumbs down. 42,700. Let's look at Kamala and her Club Shay Shay. This was, this was dropped three days ago. This was dropped on Monday. And we got 1.4 million views. But look at the ratio. Look at this ratio. 51,746 thumbs up, 176,000, nearly 177 and a half, or 176 and a half thousand thumbs down. And you're telling me this, this election is neck and neck. This election's going to be razor thin. This election's going to be so too close to call on election night. Now, 
let's take a look at the JD Vance podcast episode that dropped a couple hours ago. We're already at 1.1 million views. This episode within the next couple of hours is probably going to surpass Kabbalah's Club Shay Shay appearance. Not only that, but look at this 180,000 likes to 461 dislikes. Now, getting back to the article in the New York Post, my whole goal with her and with him is to just talk. Just sit and have a conversation like a human being. You find out things about people. You get a sense of them. At least a real sense. That was it. I don't give a F what we talk about. I really don't. I just want to talk to you. Who the F are you? Rogan's highly anticipated interview with Trump has racked up well over 41 million views on YouTube. On its way to 42 million since it was dropped last Friday. In addition to it going viral, the former president's podcast episode made headlines after fans started accusing YouTube of trying to censor the clip when it failed to come up using a basic search, which YouTube, you know, denied any nefarious actions, which you, you know, you expect them to. I bet what happened was is that you had some individual that is an ideologue and just went, now nah, we're going to, we're going to hide this and press the button to hide it. That's what I'm guessing is what happened. I doubt the algorithm had anything to do with it. For some searches on Monday, the original three hour interview didn't appear prominently. Short excerpts uploaded by the Joe Rogan channel appeared, but we know it was frustrating for users looking to find the full video, YouTube said in a statement in a post on X. We've worked to resolve this, and viewers will begin seeing the full podcast and more YouTube search results soon. So there you have it. Um, Rogan has opened up more about what the Harris campaign wanted out of him to get an interview for his podcast. I mean, I, th myself, I think it's ridiculous. She was in Texas. She could have done it. She said, no, we're too busy. Or at least her campaign staff said, no, I'm too, we're too busy. But yet you were able to go to club Shay Shay. Meanwhile, JD Vance has an episode drop. And that episode is slowly climbing the charts, slowly climbing the views. And for those of you that only believe the mainstream media, watch this episode. All the things that the mainstream media is telling you about J.D. Vance, it's all fabrication. The dude is a normal dude. He talks like a normal guy. He even drops a few curse words. Oh my gosh, a political... Somebody running for office is dropping curse words. Oh my gosh, I can't vote for him. So, there you go. Comment down below, tell me what you think. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. I'd love to hear anybody's thoughts if they've, if they've watched the episode and got it even further in than I have with it. Uh, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you.